What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Playmaker Way, Way with the Playbook. And y'all read the title, man. How to Simplify Your Trading in Three Steps. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I appreciate you giving this video a chance. Go ahead and hit that bell and sub button because we don't just post weekly content like this, but we also live stream and live trade every day, London Session 3 m EST on the same exact channel. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. We also have a free signal and free telegram. First link in the description. This is how we did last quarter. So July, we went 34 and three, only took three losses, caught a total of 105,389 pips. August, we went 45 and seven, caught 219,708 pips. And in September, we went 27 and four, catching 16,634 pips. Ended the quarter with 106 wins, 14 losses, giving us an 88% win rate. We ended it with a total of 341,731 pips caught, 323,385, strictly with the members and the advanced place signaling. Every trade posted has my personal entry, SL, TPs, time the trade was posted, how many people viewed or entered the trade, reactions, the date, and of course, those TPs getting hit. And we also dropped weekly Sunday chart analysis at the beginning of the week. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first thing you have to do is start off on the daily time frame. The reason why you want to start off on the daily time frame is because you got to understand what we're doing here. Yes, the ultimate goal is to make money, but again, how are we going to do it? Trading should be high probability, highly calculated, setups we shouldn't just be going for random things the goal isn't to try to catch every pip in the market all right if you're going to take a trade it has to make sense now think of any stat or statistic do they reference something off the five what do they reference something that happened five minutes ago one minute ago 15 minutes ago or do they reference something that happened a month ago a quarter ago a year ago years ago decades ago the latter right it's the same thing with trading in order to know what direction price is going overall, we have to understand price moves on a day-by-day, week-by-week, month-by-month basis. So we need to know what happened and what's been going down for the past week, past month, the past quarter, or if not the past year versus just what happened past 30 minutes, all right? That's why a lot of times y'all be hitting your stop losses abruptly or what y'all like to say, you're getting liquidated because again, you're not looking on the bigger scheme of things, right? Another thing you have to understand and realize too is and you watch any of my trade breakdowns, I also explain this. You got to start on the bigger time frame. Now, that brings us to number two, which is follow the trend. Now, if you do not know how to follow the trend, identify the trend or trend reversals, pause this video and watch this one right here. That's going to pop up on the corners of your screen. OK, because again. Another reason why y'all struggle with trading is because y'all continuously want to skip steps. You have to understand what is going on because believe it or not, these aren't just random candlesticks. Everything's happening for a reason and there are rules to the market. So it's your job to understand what the candlesticks are telling you so you can understand what position you need to take, for, which is a buy or a sell. So again, you got to follow the trend, right? Because again, and we look right here, we're clearly in an uptrend. So if we're in an uptrend, does it make more sense to go for buys or sells? Buys. But why do so many people still go for sells? Why? Because they were impatient, they're greedy, and they're just trying to catch a pip. No. Look at how big these green candlesticks are compared to these red candlesticks. And more important, look how big of a move the green candlesticks do compared to the red. So if we're overall going up 60, 70, 80, 90% of the time, why would you risk your hard-earned money off a 10% chance, right? And on top of that, look how small this move is. Again, we're going up most of the time. So even if it does go down, look how much it goes up compared to going down. Just like when we're in a downtrend, we see way more red than green. So it doesn't make any logical or practical sense at all to go for a buy when we're in a downtrend. No, it makes zero sense. If you go with the trend, your win rate is going to increase just like that. I'm speaking from experience. Just think of a surfer, right? Does a surfer get excited and jump on a board as soon as they see a splash or ripple on the surface? No. What do they do? They patiently wait for the perfect wave, aka the perfect setup. 
which is what you want to do on the charts. You want to buy low, sell high, follow the trend. Trust me, it's going to help you all out. Trust me, it's going to help you all out. And that brings us into tip number three. Once you're able to identify the trend, once you know, uh, once you go out on a bigger time frame and you identify the trend, you know the flow and direction price is going, then all you got to do is trade off your support resistance levels. Because once you put all these things together, as you'll see, you'll be able to catch the entire move, know exactly when to enter and when to exit. For example, look right here. I'm going to do this bar replay. I just want you to see how price reacts to these blue and golden lines perfectly treating them as support resistance. And then you're going to see my buy and sell positions and why it made sense why I took my positions exactly where I took them. Right? So as soon as it hits these levels, you see these reactions happen. You see them bounce, treat them from resistance to support, play back on these levels, retrace back to these levels. It is not a coincidence. There are zero coincidences in the markets. You just have to take the time to learn the basics. And once you learn the basics, what you'll soon realize is it's literally rinse and repeat. You go on the charts the same time every day. You look at the same setups every day. You take the same amount of trades every day. You risk the same amount every day. Everything is the same. Only thing that changes is the flow and direction of price, the date, if there's a holiday or news, but everything else is literally the exact same. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below any questions, comments, concerns you may have. Make sure to join the free signal and hit the links in the description. If you're interested in learning how to trade like me or identify these key price levels or learn the secrets to the charts, links are in the description for that. I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Now, what comes with the one-on-one -on -one session? I can show you whether I can tell you. You get access to the advanced play signal room. Now, what comes with the advanced play signal room? You get all of my signals. The free telegram only gets the 25 to 50%. And we trade all three sessions, Tokyo, London, and New York. Tokyo session strictly with the members, all right? Then every day I drop a New York price watch list, which as you can see here, it says, all right. Then every day I drop a New York price watch list. As you can see here, it says, looking at the trades we're currently in and possible setups going into New York. I don't just explain, I go over the trades we took during Tokyo session, London session, and I'll just explain why we're looking for buys, why we're looking for sell. I go over the trades taken during Tokyo and London session as well. And as you can see, I don't just say we're looking for buys, we're looking for sales. I explain why we're looking for buys, why we're looking for sales. And then I take it a step further and go over specific price points to look for entries and exits at. Then we also have exclusive New York live streams during the news events. And just like the London session lives, if you miss the news event or the live, they're recorded and posted in here so you can watch them when you get a chance. In fact, you got access to over 400 videos of chart analysis, and live streams and live trading from even last year when the playbook started and began. All right. You also have the pin messages like that account size key. Make sure you're not taking any trades your account can't handle. For example, if you have a hundred dollar account, you shouldn't be trading US 30. Then there's also the student member group chat. Student member group chat, there's a pin message teaching you how to calculate your lot size to make sure you're not over leveraging. And so you can risk the same amount each trade. And of course, people, and then of course, other students and members share their uh, results and ask questions as you can see as well. And yes, the advanced play signal room is a separate thing, but I include it with the one-on-one -on -one sessions. That way you can earn while you learn. Instead of just me teaching you stuff, you can see it in real time, how it goes down and how what I'm telling you is exactly what you need to do on the charts. And I'll see y'all next time I'm live or the next time I post a new video. Peace, we out.